Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Reorder List. It's a medium. We're going to jump right into it. You are given the head of a singly linked list. The list can be represented as L0 to L1 all the way to LN. Reorder the list to be on the following form. L0 to LN, L1 to LN minus 1, L2 to LN minus 2, and so forth. You may not modify the values in the list nodes. Only nodes themselves may be changed. So example one, we have the input 1, 2, 3, 4, and we go from 1 to 4 to 2 to 3. Example 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and our output will be 1, 5, 2, 4, 3. So we're going from 1 to 5 to 2 to 4 to 3. We're basically starting off on both ends, interleaving our nodes up until we meet in the middle. And we have some constraints over here, so we're guaranteed we have at least one node in our linked list. Okay, so say I have the following input as my example. I have head being 1, and it's a linked list going from 1 all the way to 8. Now what we want to do is basically start off from one end and have our next node be the other end, going back to then our second node, then second to last node, all the way up until we converge in the middle. So what we're essentially doing is starting off at both ends of our linked list, the beginning and end, and moving in. So at this point over here at the beginning, we're going to start off with this node and our next pointer is now going to go to the end. And now once that's there, we're going to move this one up and our last nodes and next node will be the second node. So then we can move this up. This node's next pointer would be here. And we just keep going back and forth until there are no more nodes left to process. So if you think about this, what we're essentially doing is having two lists that were just merging. And we've done lots of questions like that before, and I'll link some of them down below. So this becomes a merging of two linked lists sort of problem. If we're able to split this linked list down the middle, so if we split it right over here, and then we reversed this linked list, right? We went from eight to seven to six to five. So if we did something like this, where this one is still going the correct way, but now this one starts off at eight going to five. At this point, then what we would have to do is start off at both of our beginnings for our linked list and just merge them together. Because at this point, we have two completely separate linked lists that we just need to iterate through one at a time. So that is going to look something like this, where we start off with one, right? And our next pointer, instead of going to two, will now go to eight. And we do the same thing for eight. The next pointer, instead of going to seven, will go to two. And we'd keep doing that all the way through until we converge in the middle. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. Okay, right, to call this up, first thing, we are guaranteed that we have at least one node in our linked list. Now, what happens if we have two? If we go from one to two, even if we were to alternate between both ends, we would still get one and two as is, right? This is the output that we would want with this input. So if we're given only one node, if that's just one, that's also going to stay as is, or only two nodes, then we would just return. There's really nothing to modify. So if not head.next, so if we don't have that second node, or if not head.next.next, .next, we don't have that third node. So if we either have just one or two nodes, we return, there's really nothing to modify here. Now, if we have three or more nodes, the first thing we wanna do is find the middle point of our linked list and split it. So first thing we're doing is splitting the linked list. Now, how are we going to do this? What we're gonna do is start off with two pointers. We're gonna have one pointer move down two nodes at a time and the other pointer just move down once. So one pointer is moving double the nodes as the other. So once that double moving pointer reaches the end, we know our slow moving pointer will reach the middle. So we're going to have two pointers, let's call this middle and end, and they both start off at head. So right now they're both assigned in this beginning over here. Now end is the one that we're going to be moving down two at a time. So we want to make sure the next node exists and that next node's next node also exists. So while end.next and end.next.next. .next. So for simplicity, let's take a linked list with just three nodes. So middle and end are both going to be in the beginning. And while there exists a node, two nodes down from end, we're going to move it to that spot. So end is going to go down to its next next node and middle is going to go down to its next node so what we want to do is set end to be end dot next dot next and middle to be middle dot next now this is an odd size linked list if we have three nodes in our linked list middle is going to stop at this middle node right over here but what if it's even so if we have one two three four let's see what happens right middle is going to be here and it's going to be here we move end down two and we move middle down once but we can't keep moving end down there's no node that exists two nodes from us so we stop over here so now middle is going to stop at the last point of our first half. So what we want to do once we exit this while loop is set our second half to be the next node after where middle has stopped. So let's call this P2. P2 is going to equal mid dot next. Now, in order to split this, we need to set our current middle's next value to none. So there's no connection between these two linked lists anymore. 
So mid.next is going to equal none. So once that's done, we have a split in our list and P2 is going to be the beginning of our second half. So now what we want to do is go ahead and reverse a linked list. In order to reverse a linked list, we want to set our next pointer to our previous node. So to start off with, we're going to have our previous being none. Now while P2 and P2.next, there's still a next node to move P2 down to, we want to reverse our pointers. So in order to do that, we need to know what our next node is so we don't lose track of that. So P2.next, we're going to store this in this variable over here. So this is going to equal P2.next. And now we want to reverse a pointer. So say we're looking at this example over here. So let's get rid of this. So P2.next is over here. And now we just want to reverse this pointer. We don't want P2's next pointer pointing to four, but we want it pointing to our previous, which was none. So now we're going to have P2.next equaling none. So it's going to look something like this. Now, once this is done, we want to reset our P2 and previous. So previous is going to equal P2. So now three is going to be previous and P2 is going to be that next node we had stored. So P2 next, which means four is now P2. And we keep repeating this process with the pointer changes all the way through up until there is no next node. And in this case, we would stop right here because P2 has no next node. So now once this is done, we're still missing that last change that we needed to make. So the last step once we're out of this while loop would be to change this last node's next pointer. So p2.next is going to equal previous, which means now we have this connection over here. So at this point, we've gone ahead and split the list and reversed it, which means p2 is at the head of our second half and head is still at the beginning half. And now we have two completely separate linked list. Now, all we need to do is iterate through both of them and just interleave the nodes. So we want to go ahead and merge these two linked lists together. So let's start off with defining P1 over here. So P1 is going to equal head. And while P1 and P2, well, there's still nodes left to be processed, we're going to store our next node. So P1 next is going to equal P1.next and same for P2. So right now we have P1 over here and P2 over here, and we have P1 next and P2 next. Now, what we want to do is change P1's next pointer to point to P2. So P1.next is going to equal P2. And P2.next is going to equal P1next. So P2.next equals P1next. So we go from 1 to 4 and 4 to 2. And now what we want to do is change P1 and P2. So P1 moves down to P1next and P2 moves down to P2next. And we keep doing that up until there are no more nodes left to be processed. And that is it. We don't need to return or anything. We just modify this in place. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity, the time complexity for the solution is going to be O of N. This is because in order to split our linked list, we go through it once with two pointers. So this is an O of N operation. Then once we reverse it, this is another O of N operation. We iterate through changing pointers. And finally to merge it, we're still using the same nodes and iterating through every single one of them. And that's just another O of N operation. So overall, this is an O of N time complexity solution. And for space, we're modifying everything in place. So this is constant O of one for space. Now, before leaving, let's just run through a quick example so we understand exactly what our code is doing line by line. Okay, say I had the input linked list going from one to two to three to four to five. The first thing we want to do is check, right? If not head.next or not head.next.next, we want to return. Now here we have both head.next and head.next dot next. So we don't return, which means we want to go ahead and split our linked list. So to do that, we're going to set our middle and end to be head. And this is head right now over here. Now, while end dot next and end dot next dot next, that is true. We move end to end dot next dot next. So this is going to move down to three and middle goes to middle dot next. So it goes over here. Now we go back into our while loop end dot next is true and end dot next dot next again is true. It's not none. So we do the same thing again. We move end down over to five and we move middle down over one. So now it's at three and end is at five. Now we can't keep going in our while loop. So we break and we set P2 to be middle dot next. So now we have P2 at four and is at five and middle is at three. Now mid dot next equals none. So now three points to none, which means it's no longer connected to this part of the linked list. And we've gone ahead and split our linked list into two chunks. The next step would be to reverse. Now, in order to reverse our linked list, we're going to set our previous to be none. And while P2 and P2.next, so P2 is not none and P2.next is also not none. So we're going in this while condition. 
we're setting p2 next equal to p2 dot next to next equals five now p2 dot next so what's the next node of four we're setting this equal to previous so this was none so our previous node is now going to be none and we also had three pointing to none. I'm also going to write this out just so it's a little bit clearer. So this is where we're at so far. We just went ahead and changed our next pointer to point to previous. And now we're going to set previous to be P2. So now previous is P2. It's no longer none. And P2 is going to equal P2 next. So P2 now becomes this. And we go back into this while loop. So P2 is not none, but P2.next is none, right? This still points to none. It's implied there's nothing else after this. So this is still none, which means we can't continue in this while loop. So we break and now we want to set P2's next to be previous. So we're going to reverse this pointer over here. So now we have P2 at five, which goes to four, which now goes to none. So we have our two split linked list in the correct order, which means all that's left to do is merge it. So to merge it, we're going to set P1 to be head and we're going to make a check while P1 and P2. And honestly, we don't even need P1. We can just check with just P2. This is going to be the smaller of the linked list. So as long as our node's still here, we're good to go. So while P2, P1 next is going to equal P1.next. And P2 next is going to equal P2.next. And we're setting P1's next node to be P2. So it's going to go from 1 to 5. So 1's next node is now P2. It's now 5. And we're setting 5's next node, so P2's next node, to be p1 next so instead of going to four five now points to two so we're going from head which is one to five to two and now that these pointer changes have been made we're resetting our p1 and p2 value so p1 now equals p1 next and p2 is now going to equal p2 next this means p1 is at two and p2 is at four so now we go back in this while loop while p2 this is true there's still nodes to process we're going to repeat the same exact thing so what's p1 next and p2 next so p1 next is going to be three and p2 next is going to be none now we're setting p1's next value to be p2 so we're going to go from two to four so p2's next value is now pointing to p1 next so instead of pointing to none four goes to three so so far we have one going to five five going to two two going to four and four going to three. Now we set our P1 and P2 value. So P1 is gonna equal P1 next and P2 equals P2 next, which means P2 is at none and P1 is at three. So we go back in this while loop and while P2 no longer holds true, right? This is now none. So what we have is a completed reordered list. We go from one to five to two to four to three to none. And that's exactly what we would be outputting, right? One, five, two, four, three. So we just went ahead and solved a reorder list. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.